Alrighty, friends. So, uh, the premise of this video today that I will be talking to you about is going to be the third, in my opinion, the third top most, like mo the third most important, most historic, uh, and the third best uh, Boston sports moment in the very, very long and luxurious Boston sports history. Okay, but before I get into that, um, you know, during these uh, troubling times, during these times of uncertainty, when there's a lot going on, there's a lot of, you know, questionable things happening going on, like happening across the country, as well as around the globe. It's important that we constantly remain, uh, remain positive in, in any way that we can. And whatever, you know, obviously that has many definitions, that has many different meetings, many different people. So whatever it means to you, you know what I mean? Uh, what I think positivity is, is very different to, you know, people in my family and people around me and you know so on and so on and so on so whatever you know you find uh, happiness in whatever you find positivity in you know hold cling on to that right because that's, we're in a day and age right like right now uh where it's so easy to just let it go and cling on to the negativity so whatever moment you are in throughout the day uh just try to find that positive light out of it like to, like yesterday like the last couple days for me okay you know, I do find enjoyment just taking the drive to go get my coffee. I find, you know, enjoyment be seeing all the people that that are out and about. Uh, it's exciting for me to see, you know, all those people, you know, wanting wanting life to get back to normal. Um, and you know, I also love getting love coffee. So I mean, uh, why wouldn't I be excited about that? So that's a positive moment for me. And yes, and then yesterday, I uh, it was like right around this time yesterday. I went for a run, okay? I went for a two-mile run. Uh, you know, it was nice being able to just go, like, just run, let out some, like, let out whatever kind of steam, get some great exercise, and it was a perfect weather for it, too. It was uh, cloudy. Uh, There's a nice breeze going through. It was a tiny bit humid, but the uh, humidity is nothing like it is today, which, which was good. Uh, but I will admit I am, like, super sore right now because that was the first time I ever ran in quite a while. So uh, I'm definitely feeling it right now, but it's okay. Okay, because this is, again, another positive moment where my body's telling me, like, okay, you know, I need to rest. You know, I, I still need to move around a bit, a little bit, you know, to alleviate my muscles. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a rest. It's okay to hit the pause button, the stop sign, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, because we definitely live in a day and age, right, where our society is just constantly, you know, in that go, go, go mentality, right, where it... Especially, you know, us younger folks, I see it in myself all the time, where it's like, okay, if I'm not doing like 10 million things right now, what what am I doing, right? I've got to be doing so many things right now. And if I don't get those 10 million things done today, then it's been a bad day. It's like, no, okay? it's it's We shouldn't live like our lives like that anymore, okay? And honestly, I think that's a terrible way to live. Um, you know, we got we got to look around us we got to see the beauty and never in the simple things okay and not just you know being happy with the amount of you know money we made or the amount of the amount of videos i made today the amount of videos where i talked a ton and so on and so on and so on i mean i, I like doing this 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 has been a lot of fun to me so far but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter it's okay like, okay did i talk without you know with the people I need to talk to today. Did I make sure they're doing okay? Did I make sure they're, you know, they're getting through this, okay? Like, it's all about getting through this together. As, again, back to whole, the whole sense of community. Um, this is a community effort. We've gotta be in this, we've gotta be in this game. And guess what? You know, at some point or another, you're gonna realize that we're all in this game of life together, whether you like it or not, okay? Uh, I've had the blessing to be able to find that or, or out. The, uh, I've been ha I've had the blessing of being able to find that out early on, and once I realized that, you know, we're we're not alone in this journey, you know, because we we do we we really do rely on each other. We need each other, especially now more than ever. So, you know, uh, I hope you know I I hope I can bring that to your guys' attention. And that's how this, that's why I started essentially started this video because I find uh, my peace, I find my joy, I find my community, and I want and I I see all that in sports, okay? And that's why I love sports, and that's why I keep talking about sports is because you know I really do believe that sports is a great way that brings out 
the best of us, the best of us, right? And I feel like I really feel like sports is able to bring out the community in ways that nothing else really does. And that's that's why I love the industry. That's why I want to go into the industry. And obviously, again, everybody, each and every one of us are so uniquely different, which is awesome. So you know, every everybody has their own form of opinion about community and being together and being, you know rely on each other and yet and so on and so on and so on right and so you know i i encourage you and i challenge you to you know spend you know even if it's two minutes just reflect for two minutes be like hey where do i find you know my peace my joy my blessings where do i find my community right is it you know is it sports right or is it dance is it music is it volunteering you know stuff like that right where do you find your community? Where do you find your joy and all that stuff, right? And pursue that 100%. Once you, once you reflect about it, once you, are like, once you pinpoint like, hey, I love, I love sports. Pursue that. Attack it. Go for it, okay? Re watch sports. Research sports. Talk about sports, you know. And just just dive right into whatever it is that you may find your sense of community in okay and and then reach out to people as well okay this is a great time to research you know your your, your passion for something okay if, if you're passionate about something look into it research it reach out to folks within that area okay if you're if you're into Meta if you're in, if you're you find your community in like you know medicine or science or whatever okay okay so take take science okay obviously like uh, earlier uh, like last week earlier in the week you know we had um the big space launch okay so if you're really into space and rocketry and you know engineering and all that reach out to somebody at, at nasa or at spacex be like hey do you have 10 minutes on Thursday, you know, to talk, okay? Because, you know, the more information you can find out about something that you're interested in, the better, and the better person it's going to make you. It's going to make you more of a well-rounded person. And guess what? And that's the, if that's the type of industry that you want to work in someday, guess what? That's going to look a heck of a lot for you, okay? It's going to look a heck of a... Sorry, I, that came, I, I mixed my sentence around. That's going to look extremely well for you, okay? Because it's gonna show that person that you talk to, like, hey, you know, you're really interested about, about what we do, and hey, it could lead to uh, to uh, a job here um, at SpaceX, okay? And that's what happened to me the other day, okay? As you guys know, I was talking with some folks within the sports industry, and they were like, and guess what? All the folks I talked to were like, hey, look, let's stay in touch, and you know, let's keep this, um, you know, professional relationship strong, so that way. Hey, once you apply for a job, guess what? I'm going to help you out big time, okay? Stuff like that is important. Stuff like that matters. And guess what? You know, you get you, not only did you form the relationship with somebody, but you get to keep it as well. So you get to constantly keep in contact with them and constantly learn things that you might have not learned otherwise if you hadn't reached out to them, right? So, again, community, community, community. You know, make sure you find what community you want to be a part of like what communities interest you what things interest you you know whether it's it can be anything right it, it, the list goes on and on i don't need to describe that much longer okay so um so yeah i, I think it's, i think it's just important obviously and i was going to talk about the uh top third top uh sports moment in this video but I think I'll save that for another one after I, after this one, uh, just because, because I think it's, I think it's important. I think this stuff is important to talk about, right? Um, there's definitely a lot going on in our world, and it's it's, it's important to stay positive. It's uh, important to you know not only remain positive, but it's also important, obviously, to make sure we know what's going on around us um, because uh, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in, and if we really let it affect us, it can you know really it can really sink in and really control us. But you know. Instead of having it control us, how about we control the situation? You know what I mean? Because we're, we're, if anybody's going to control the situation, it's going to be you and you and you and me and all, and so on and so forth, right? 
Okay, and if we let let it sink in and then do nothing, then how? What's the point, right? I mean, if we if we think we can think about stuff, right? But if we think about stuff and do nothing about it, then what what's the point, really, right? I mean, come on, we're better than that. You know what I mean? I mean, we're a country big, uh, built on big ideas, and then you know those big ideas, you know, led, led to people acting on it, and then guess what? Now we're the United States of America. Okay, that's how that's how we became a country. Is you know. Somebody had, you know, some folks had, oh, a dream. Some people had a vision of what this country could be. And guess what? They thought about it. They made a plan. They went out and they did it. So that's the big thing, too. Like, I see so many, you know, there's a lot of leadership positions that I've been in, um, in high school and in college uh, so far, where a lot of great, awesome ideas came to me, like, came to the table I loved them, okay? I thought they were fantastic ideas. So myself and maybe what, like a couple other folks, we came up with an idea, like, like an idea plan, an idea sheet, okay? A, a, like a, a, an idea set, right? Of how to make those ideas, those dreams a reality, okay? And I, and in what was frustrating too is once we made that a plan once we made that plan i like presented it and i was like hey guys here you go here's all of your ideas that you had here's an uh, here's a plan of how you know i personally think it's gonna work okay and what i want you guys to do so i want you to take this plan that i made i want you guys to edit it i want you to make it the group's vision not just mine so that way like soon we can, ex we can execute it, right? We can make it happen. Okay, we can knock it out of the park. So, by, so pretty soon, you know, this is this whole idea chart that you guys essentially envisioned be can become a reality. And guess what? I, I soon, it, it, was, it was super frustrating for me because I thought it was great. I thought it was great. It was obviously a group effort, um, putting everybody's hopes and wishes in, onto one sheet. And... You know, that's the tough thing about leadership, right? Is that sometimes you can think you can have such a great vision. And, you know, and then once you bring it to the table, you know, and once I brought that vision to the table, everybody looked at me and they're like, nah, we, we don't like it and we don't, we don't want to do anything about it. And it was super frustrating to me, right? Because, you know, I kind of looked at them that more. I was like, look, you know, this is everything you guys wanted. So what do you mean? No. And it was clear to me that, you know, they had other things on their tables that was much more important than that group in particular. So I was like, okay, you know, it's pretty clear that, you know, I'm, I'm not needed in this particular area. So I was like, you know what, I'll just remove myself and I'll, you know, I'll get, I'll go get some new, I'll go, you know, involve myself with other uh, leadership opportunities that clearly need my expertise and will clearly value my expertise, my leadership skills much more than this particular group will. So, you know, obviously, you know, there will be troubling times, you know, in your leadership careers where, you know, things, some things are just not meant to be. Uh, and it's, it's frustrating, don't get me wrong. But there's this awesome quote it's, uh, that I've read, and it's, I, I have to remind myself literally constantly, all the time. It's, grant me the serenity, accept the things I cannot, grant me the serenity. Grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, because this is just things that you will never be able to change, right? Like, like what I just told you about a little while ago. So, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Grant the courage to change the things I can, right? There will be things in life where you're like, "Hey, look, this is something I can definitely change," right? And it, it, there will be several opportunities for you, whether you, whether you realize that immediately or not. At some point, you'll, you'll be like, hey, look, this is something I can change. And guess what? You will go out and change it. Okay? There's a, and there's plenty of opportunities right now for all of us, you know, to go out and act on, you know, being able to change things. So, grant me, uh, grant me the courage to change the things I can. And then the wisdom to know, to know the difference, okay? To be able to assert, discern on the things that you can change and to be able to re recognize that, hey, I've got to, I've got to take a step back. I can't, I clearly tried and I cannot change this. So I'll, I'll just step aside, right? Like I just saw, again, I just said this a little while ago, 
you know, I, I, I found an opportunity. I thought I could change it. I tried it and it was very, very clear that I could not change it. So um, I was uh, at peace with the idea that I clearly couldn't. So I, ste I stepped aside, right? So grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, okay? Three important uh, little sayings within the main saying. And, you know, essentially, and, uh, it's, it's important that we realize that now, okay? And, and it's important, you know, just to make sure we constantly see the positive things in every situation, no matter how good or bad the situation may be, right? You know, we can always say, like, oh, the situation is so terrible, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, okay, let's take a step back for a second as seeing all the negatives and be like, hey, you know, what is the situation really trying to, you know, what is it really trying to say to us, right? Okay, so even if it's just one little positive thing, you know, it may be, di it may be dif difficult, right? And that may not be, you know, the greatest positive note ever, but if it's a positive note, it's a positive note. And take those positive notes and be like, okay, look, how, how can we elaborate off of that rather than elaborating on a string of negativity okay because once you spread once if you're the leader of an organization you know you've got to try to stay positive positive for as long as you can and as soon as soon as the ceo or a leader of an organization starts acting negative then guess what it it's a major ripple effect throughout the rest of the organization so before you know it you know you just made everybody in the organization extremely negative and guess what they don't really want to work hard anymore which there therefore leads to a failing organization and guess what see ya that that business is done okay so you know it, it's important to realize that no matter if we're a leader of an organization or if you got or if you're a person just like me you know trying to make change right it doesn't matter where you are at life it doesn't matter where you are at your in your professional career or you know on and on and on you know it, when negativity can control such a large portion of our lives and we've basically got to stand up to him and be like no no i can change the situation i can change myself i can change the way i think and i can change the way i act and i want to act positively and i can act act to you know in a, in a as a ray of sunshine right so you know it's important to remain, remain positive not only for the people around us, for, but for our personal sake as well. And like, once I have, you know, once I get into that positive mindset, I feel, I feel great, right? It, fe it feels good to be positive. You know what I mean? Because I, I can, you know, then give myself a pep talk like, hey, let's go tackle today. Let's go, let's go make this a great day. Let's go make a change uh, in a positive light rather than a negative one. So, um, so this is well where I will end the video for for now, right? And I'll continue the uh, Bostonian sports uh, updates as, as we move forward on that fun series, okay? It's been fun talking about it. It's been fun thinking about it. It's been fun planning for it, okay? I've been doing a lot of planning for it. I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, it's really been resonating in, in me trying to decide, okay, which ones are the top sports moments and which ones aren't really that great, right? And so it's been, it's been tough, yeah. Because in my eyes, I'll, there's a lot. There's a lot of great moments, okay. And the one I'm going to talk about now, I was debating on whether. Well, the one I'm going to talk about here in a little while, I was debating on whether, like, oh, geez, you know, should I make it the first? Should I make it the tenth? Should I make it the fifth? And it's like trying to trying to rank all these Boston sports moments. It's like it's an accomplishment in itself. I'll tell you, it's it's not easy. It's 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 pretty tricky. Definitely a lot more tricky than I was expecting. Uh, and you know, being a sports, being a sports guy and trying to rank the best sports moments in Boston, it's like, that's, that, that is a time. Okay. That is a task. Okay. So I'll wrap it up. I'll stop talking. Cause I, I love talking. So, uh, until I, until I see you again next, uh, you know, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you to our frontline workers. You're the heroes. Uh, and you know, I'll talk to y'all soon. All right. See ya.